What's going on, you guys? Uncle Jesse here. Here is a quick follow-up video to the iPhone 3 head scanning video that I did the other week with ScanD Pro, where I showed you how you could take a scan of your head or body part using ScanD Pro in an iPhone X. I was kind of blown away how many people turned in to watch that, so thank you guys, first of all, for that. Uh, but secondly, I wanted to show you the results of that scan. So I mentioned in the video that I was going to 3D print a life-size version of my head. Let's check it out. And here it is. This is a one-to-one -one scale version of my own head here. Uh, obviously, this was scan was done before I chopped off all of my hair. Um, but yeah, this turned out pretty dang cool. So I ended up again rescaling this in Cura. It was slightly larger when I exported it out of Scandi Pro. So I just measured from one side of my head from one ear to the other, which was about 6.75 inches. And I rescaled the file to match that here. As you see here, I made sure that the shoulders were lopped off here. And it was basically the widest part was my ears. And I printed this on the Artillery Sidewinder X1. This is completely hollow. Uh, I just used some very minimal supports for the nose and my chin, maybe one of the eye areas here since my eyes sink in so much. Yeah, thanks mom and dad. But uh, yeah, I think this turned out absolutely fantastic. Uh, you'll also see here that it's printed in a rainbow color PLA. Er one, er one, er one, er one. It's supposed to be like everyone, but it's er one, I guess. I don't know. Uh, reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in testing out one of their rainbow filaments. And yes, I would. This looks absolutely incredible. And uh, the results are absolutely stunning. I'm loving, absolutely loving this PLA. This is something really fun to print with. The color transitions are really smooth as it just goes almost seamlessly from one color to to the other. The only one that I was slightly questioning here is where it was going from red to this purple. It, it that, that transition was just a little bit more sudden than I was hoping for with this. It's, it's not as subtle as a transition as all the other colors, but just the results are really, really nice. It's got almost a, a really nice sheen to it as well. Uh, but yeah, yeah, very, very cool. I'll have links down to this PLA. I'll have links to the file. I'll have links to Scandi Pro down below. If you haven't already watched this video, I'll have links for that in one of these corners here. I can never remember which corner it is. Uh, and again, just wanted to follow up really quick with you guys with this. And by the way, and by the way, this will make for a great way to display my helmets. Pretty cool. Thank <sniffs> you. 